I like the shovel cast. Okay, like the mo cast, right? <laughs> this is the winter version. Sarah, thank you. Frauds and scams can happen at any time, but if you know what to look out for, you can protect yourself and your finances. Jen Burke from the Maine Credit Union League is here today to talk about a fraud trend you're seeing. So tell us about a social engineering scheme. Tell yes. us about it. So we've been hearing that folks here in Maine have been receiving a call from someone claiming to be with Amazon's fraud department. And they're calling and they're saying there are fraudulent credits or fraudulent charges on their Amazon account. And that they will soon be hearing from their financial institution mm. to rectify the situation. Shortly thereafter, they get another call that's got a spoofed number to make it look like their bank or credit union. And they're saying you need to provide some personal information about your accounts or provide payment in the form of a gift card to recoup those credit credits that are now on this account. Mm. And it's completely false pretenses. It's a way to get people to take action, provide a gift card, which should be a big red flag, or share information because they think their account has been compromised. And when you get not just one call, you get two, you start to think, hey, maybe this could be real. And so it's great that we can raise some awareness about this, but these social engineering fraud schemes happen all the time. And so, you know, protecting yourself really comes with, um, you know, whenever you, they say, pay with a gift card, yeah. you know, that, that, that's not gonna happen. That should know. be a huge red flag. But anytime you get an unsolicited call from someone who wants you to take immediate action, I've got a problem, I have a solution, you need to do this right now. That should make you think twice about the call, and especially if it's unsolicited, if you're not expecting it. Um, this happens over the phone, but this also can happen via text messaging and emails. That's why you should never click on links, don't engage in text messages with people you don't know. You know, the phone is an easy way that a lot of, it, a lot of fraud is being done these days, but it's not the only way. So you really need to be guarded when you get those contacts from somebody that you're not expecting. So, uh, and social engineering is a term when it, it's a false pretense? That's exactly okay. it, yep, they, they are, pretending to be an authority figure to get you to take action or to disclose information like, you know, can you provide me your bank account information, Megan, and I will take care of this for you. Mm. So, you know, and unfortunately, people fall victim to this all the time. Okay, so before we wrap up, just quickly, don't ever pay with a gift card. Don't <laughs> don't give financial information out to an unsolicited call, especially. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just generally, buyer beware. Buyer beware, yep. and you know what, if you get phone call from somebody you don't know, you don't have to answer it. Let it go to voicemails. You know, those are signs. And anytime someone asks you for a gift card, no legitimate organization is going to ask you for payment in the form of a gift card. Mm. Good point. All right, Jen Berg, thank, thank you so you. much. And we'll be right back.